In a minute, you are going to see a video of me trying to bake with an Easy Bake Oven. It doesn't go particularly well, so I didn't want to kind of set you up for the roller coaster ride of failure that I've just had to endure for the last, I don't even want to know how long. So um, yeah, just, just bear in mind, things don't go well. Um, but I'll let you see for yourself. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Mr. Baker's Cakes Kitchen and the first video of 2021. It wasn't supposed to be the first video of 2021, but life has been, yeah, it's been, it's been a busy couple of weeks, but I have been planning on shooting this video for months, months and months and months, and I finally feel like today is the right time. Yes, in case you haven't figured it out already, Today, we are going to be baking with an Easy Bake Oven. Let's get to the video. Now, if you are one of my subscribers based here in the UK, you probably are equally as clueless as me when it comes to the Easy Bake Oven. So, the Easy Bake Oven is a children's toy that was released originally, I believe, in 1963 by a company called Kenner. And it was essentially a plastic child's oven that allowed them to cook real food using a 100 watt light bulb. Yeah. Now, We've seen them mentioned in TV shows and movies and all sorts of things over the years, but for some reason it was never released over here in the UK, or in fact I believe in Europe at all. I can only assume it's because our safety kind of rules and regulations are slightly stricter and we have stronger feelings about exposing children to the possibility of significantly injuring themselves during their independent play. That being said, the Easy Bake Oven carried on being manufactured, I believe, up until about 2017. But it seems that child safety laws in America have been slightly revamped in recent years, and therefore they're slightly more reluctant to again expose children to the possibility of injury while they are playing. That being said, stop it. That being said, it's one of those things that I've wanted to get my hands on for years now kind of like the Mr. Frosty over here. Do you remember that, where you could make the slushy drinks? Yeah, I think everybody wanted one, but I don't know a single person who actually had one. But anyway, um, I've wanted to have a play with an Easy Bake Oven for years, and I thought it would be a really fun thing to do here on my channel. Now, because they're not available here in the UK, I originally took to eBay to get my hands on one, and I was able to get hold of this one here for around about $50 including shipping, which basically came with everything you would expect to find in the box. But when one of my friends in Canada heard that I was planning on shooting some Easy Bake Oven themed videos, she very kindly took it upon herself to do a bit of a shout out to some of her mummy friends. And it turns out that Easy Bake Ovens are the sorts of thing that everybody in America and Canada has in their garage or their loft. And so she was able to throw together kind of the ultimate Easy Bake Oven kit including the latest model of Easy Bake Oven, which I believe came out around about 2016. A whole host of accessories, so the ones that come with this model and extras, and she even sent me some of the Easy Bake Oven kits. So they are essentially all the ingredients you need to make some of the Easy Bake Oven recipes. Now here we have got the Easy Bake Deluxe Delights Breakfast Kit, which includes everything you need to make breakfast donuts and waffles. Here is the um, pizza, cheese pizza kit. We have got the red velvet and strawberry flavored cakes mix and pretzels. Now much as I would love to have a go at all of these in today's video, I think that's slightly unrealistic. So I put a shout out over on Instagram and the two that came in first, well first and second, were pizza and cake. Which makes sense because we've had a go at pizza here on my channel before and well, I'm Mr. Baker's Cakes, so it makes sense. So yes, in today's video, we are going to be having a go at recreating these delicious, 
We're going to have a go at recreating these recipes in the Easy Bake Oven and we're going to find out can a professional baker bake in a child's toy. Let's get cracking. By the way, you'll notice I've put the chef jacket on today to kind of add credibility to the fact that I'm allegedly a professional baker. Um, but that may well be called into question by the time we've actually had a go at this. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. Um, so I have a huge amount of... Sorry, the chair's still squeaking, by the way. I didn't get any one for Christmas. I have a huge amount of Easy Bake Oven accessories thanks to the one I bought on eBay and my friend Kelly. So we have lots of bits and pieces in there. I'm not entirely sure what most of them are for, but we'll figure it out. I do also have some instructions, but I think these instructions go with that Easy Bake Oven. So I'm hoping that they kind of relate to each other. I could be wrong. Now, my understanding is that this one over here still uses the 100 watt light bulb, but at some point in the past, possibly 2011, they replaced the light bulb with a dedicated heating element, and I think that's what's inside this one here. Now the first thing it says that I need to do is to preheat the Easy Bake Oven for 15 minutes. So I've plugged it in, I've put it on a marble slab because I'm a little bit worried, health and safety first. Um, and there is already a very strong smell coming from the oven. Oven. I, ca I can't really describe it, I'm not sure if there's like food residue left inside or melting plastic. It's, it's not a particularly pleasant smell, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And if it is melting plastic, I'm fairly confident the fumes will make me move on to another plane and I won't even notice it fairly soon anyway. So I think if we're going to have a go at the cake and the pizza, we should probably start with the pizza first because main course of pudding. And I've watched a lot of Easy Beer Carbon videos on YouTube in preparation for this video. And as far as I'm aware, everything in these kits is powder. And then you mix it with water and it turns magically into bread, sauce, cheese, etc. I should probably have a bit of a tidy up. Sorry, this has got my timer on it for the preheat. So we're currently up to, where are we up to? Eight seconds left on there. So perfect time to start preparing, I guess. These are the instructions for how to use the oven, but we'll figure that out, we're grown ups. And then here we have the pizza kit and the pizza instructions. So let's see what it says. Oh, note to parents, please read the Easy Bake Ultimate Oven instructions. Uh, make sure children wash their hands before using the mixes. Done. Hand wash and dry baking pan before using or for the first time and after baking, of course. Food mixes may cause staining. Cover your workspace with a with wax paper or a plastic mat. Um, stainless steel. That doesn't stain, surely. I'm bored. Next bit. Preheat the Easy Bake Oven for 20 minutes. It said 15. Make the sauce, cheese, and glaze. So pour one marinara sauce mix and one and a half teaspoons of water into a bowl. Now I figured these are all going to be pretty small and I am one of those people that has about 400,000 ramekins because my husband lives on short port desserts, don't get me started. So I'm hoping that these will do as bowls, although I apologise in advance because we're going to have that really irritating noise, but never mind. So, marinara sauce mix. Nope. Nope. Marinara mix. Artificially flavoured. Yum. One marinara sauce mix into a bowl. Okay, so it looks kind of like white with some herby bits in it. Um, I have a big jug of water here. Note to self, do not put oxo jugs in the dishwasher because they go cloudy. It is clean, I promise. One. And a half. Okay, so somehow this white powder is no longer white. So that's weird. It, it literally smells like pizza sauce. This is crazy. What? Okay, so you saw it as powder. Look at that. What? 
I don't even know if it's focusing, but that's mad. It does look a bit grainy, but that's insane. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, cheese. So apparently we're going to make cheese from powder. One garlic herb cheese mix. Another pot, garlic herb cheese mix. Bin. There is a bin. Okay, and what do we need for this? Another one and a half teaspoons of water. So again, it's just a white powder. What's the date on these, by the way? As I say, I was sent these by my friend Kelly from somebody who had them just sat in storage. So there is a chance that these could be old. There doesn't appear to be a date on them. Maybe powders don't go off. Let's hope not. Okay, one and a half teaspoons. One. Is that one? Oh. And a half. Okay, so again, we're starting with white powder, water, another teaspoon. It smells horrible. Like, it definitely smells like fake cheese, like cheese flavouring. Oh wow. So this one has kind of turned into some sort of like quite thick paste. Okay, I'm not going to think about that one anymore. Make the glaze. One egg wash mix and two tablespoons of water in a bowl. Wow. Egg wash mix. Okay, so this powder's bright yellow. Looks like this. Can you see that? I hope so. Two tablespoons. I don't have any spares, so if we don't do it right, it could go horribly wrong. One. Two. Another teaspoon. I bring enough teaspoons, who knows? Okay, so that yellow powder has now turned this kind of burn orangey colour. Can I just say for the record, as a child, this would have been so much fun. And you get to eat at the end of it. Okay, this one's really lumpy. But that literally tasted nothing. That'll do, I'm over it. Okay, so next we need to make the pizzas. So make the pizza dough. Pour one pizza dough mix and one tablespoon of water into a bowl. So we've got two pizza dough mixes. I can only assume that is gonna be enough ingredients for two. Again, apologies for my chair. If any chair manufacturers wanna send me a chair, happy to receive sponsorship. DMs are open. Okay, how much? One tablespoon. Okay. Okay, so this one's coming together much more like a dough, which is good considering it's pizza dough. However, there is a lot of flour in here. Stir and press the mixture together until you form a dough. There is a lot of flour there for flour powder. God knows what it actually is. <sighs> Do it the old fashioned way. With a bit of kneading. Yeah. Oh my god, this chair! Okay, that would do because we've kind of got a ball of dough. A few bits are falling off, but never mind. Um, it's definitely nothing like pizza dough. So, pizza dough should be really stretchy and shiny, and this is like a lump of plasticine that literally just breaks apart. But never mind. I'm just gonna. Get rid of that. Okay. Use your hands to shape the dough into a ball. If the dough is too sticky, it's definitely not. Split the dough into six equal pieces. Oh, we can use one of our tools. Use this one. Six equal pieces. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, oh my gosh, it's so dry. Okay. I'm gonna put some more water in, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna literally just 
wet my finger and just see if that helps. Maybe it's because it's like old. I'm seriously losing it with this chair. It's better. It's not ideal, but it's better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so don't tell anyone, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a tiny little pastry cutter and I'm going to push it in there and push it down and then hopefully that will give me those ni nice neat edges that they have on the box. That's a bit better. Hang on, where's the tin? How big can I go? Eh, I think a bit bigger. Has anyone done this before? Like, is anyone watching from the States who actually had an easy bake oven and made pizza? Did yours come out looking like this? I think this dough is unlike any pizza dough I have ever made. And I've made some questionable pizza doughs over the years. I can almost feel the dough drying as well, just while I'm using it, because there's not a lot of liquid in there. So then it says to place the six pizzas pizza pieces on the sprayed baking pan. So there's the baking pan. Have some cooking spray. Well, this is cake release spray, but it's all I have. So let's hope that works. And then we're gonna go one, two. I mean, are these gonna spread out? Okay, use a pastry brush or your fingers to spread some glaze on the dough. Do I have a small pastry brush? Not up here. Okay, which one's the glaze? Oh gosh, which one was the glaze? The one we made third, this one, lumpy one. Sprinkle with your finger. Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. I set that camera up to show you the oven, but the oven's not really doing anything at the moment, other than smelling interesting. Five, I mean, I have a lot of this glaze and even for another whole batch of pizzas, I think I would barely use any, but never mind. Spoon the, no, spread marinara sauce on top of the pizza dough. That's this one. Oh, it's thick. Okay, so we're only supposed to use half, which means you don't get very much. Mm. Oh gosh, that's loads. I might use my finger again. Don't worry, I'm not going to make anyone, oh no, that didn't work either. I'm not going to make anyone else eat these. Could you imagine if I was like totally shook and they were actually amazing? Nope, that's not spreading. I'm trying to rub a thick liquid over a thin liquid. As you can imagine, that's going really well. Okay, so I've changed that camera angle, so hopefully you can now see what I'm doing. Um, spoon the cheese into a plastic sandwich bag and cut a small hole in one corner. Squeeze out strings of cheese on top of the sauce. So we're essentially piping this. Okay, I only have huge piping bags. Uh. Okay, we're gonna cut this down. It's, it kind of reminds me of like Cheese rice cakes, I think, is what I'm getting. Okay, so this is what we have. There's a tiny amount, I don't even know if you can see that, but there's a tiny amount floating in the middle. And this is enough for 12, so I'm gonna make the tiniest hole at the end. Are you still on? The light's off. Oh man, what's happened? Okay, so I've... We've tried the one from eBay, and that just doesn't seem to work at all. I think that one still had a light bulb in, and there is no light that comes on when you turn that one on. This one, this light here, has gone out, and it's definitely not hot anymore, and the smell has pretty much gone. Um, I did wonder, because I've got it plugged into a surge protector down here, just in case, because, you know, American appliances. But also, my adapter from US to UK has got its own um, fuse element. Fuse element, fuse. It's got its own fuse. And I did wonder if maybe the, if the fuse had blown. 
but I've switched it to another one and that's also not working. So, I honestly don't know what's happening. The surge protector still has power going to it. It's not lit up so that there's been a surge. So this, this is great. This is absolutely amazing. Well, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna finish my pizzas anyway because we've gone to all this effort. So apparently I'm supposed to literally just pipe. Strings of cheese. It doesn't say how many. So I'm just gonna do maybe four. I'm gonna to have to name this video. Instead of something like Professional Baker Bakes with an Easy Bake Oven, it's gonna to have to be something like Professional Baker has his heart broken by an Easy Bake Oven. Professional Baker cancelled by Easy Bake Oven. I feel like I've still got lace left. Let's do a bit more. Well, it's time to bake, but we don't have an oven, so put them there, Google. Okay, so I've relocated to my, my actual kitchen and we're gonna try and bake these mini pizzas in the real oven because I, I did not go to all this effort to not get to try some poor quality, substandard, easy bake oven food. So I'm gonna try and figure out what temperature I need to bake at in a real oven. We'll give that a go and then we will go back to the studio and we'll, we'll see how they turn out. Fingers crossed. Okay, so... So much mess. Rather than be defeated by an Easy Bake Oven, clearly been defeated by an Easy Bake Oven, I have cooked these in a regular oven for 12 minutes. So I Googled and found out that the, this model of the Easy Bake Ultimate Oven bakes at around about 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is about 190 degrees C. Um, I have a fan oven, so I switched that down to 170 degrees and then, yes, baked it for 12 minutes. While they were baking, I've also reached out to some people who are infinitely more qualified and intelligent about electrics than I am to find out what I need to do to try and resolve these issues. Editing Rob here. So it seems that basically the issue is that in the UK, our power supply is 240 volts and in the US, their power supply is 120 volts. And so therefore, I basically pumped way too much power into the Easy Bake Oven, which has done who knows what to it. So what I need to do now is buy a transformer that not only converts UK to US, but also reduces that power supply as well. So I've just done that. And then once that arrives, we'll be able to figure out if it's simply a case of a blown fuse or if something more sinister has happened. So, um, yeah, leave that with me and um, I'll let you get back to the video. But in the meantime, we're going to try these pizzas, which is this hot? Still hot. OK, which look like this. And we'll see what they taste like. They smell okay but anyway and then and then yes so uh let's give this a go i think it's sticking to my teeth i mean it tastes like pizza but the texture is is a bit weird it's like the edges are crispy, but the inside is, I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah, it's, I swear it has stuck to my teeth. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those pizzas that you can cook in the microwave or in the oven, but when you cook them in the microwave, they just end up really rubbery and, and not particularly nice. That's what they remind me of. But I have to say as a child, if this had worked, and I had made these. I think I would be absolutely blown away that I had made real food myself using a toy. There you go, guys. That, that, was, that was 
my first failed attempt at baking with an easy bake oven. So apologies that it was not more successful, bearing in mind it was our first video of the year. I had planned a whole load of, of various videos using this thing, but uh, I guess we'll see what I can sort out kind of over the next few days. Um, see what sort of damage I've done by running it on the wrong voltage and um, if it is salvageable then hopefully I will see you next week for a, another Easy Bake Oven video where we actually managed to bake with an Easy Bake Oven. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. At this point I would normally say if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up but let's be honest I can't imagine this is going to encourage anyone to subscribe to my content. But if you fancy giving me a pity subscribe then you can absolutely hit that big red button down below. And if you would like to receive a notification of every time I upload a... You probably don't want to receive a notification but just ring the bell. Again, do it out of pity. Um, and yeah, I guess I will wrap this up and I'll see you guys at the same time next week. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye guys.